How, how can Anthony Joshua rally back? What's next in, in line for Anthony Joshua, the so-called the so king of boxing? What can he do next? I don't know, there's a chance, right? There's a small chance that, that Ruiz might be a bad matchup for Anthony Joshua. There's a chance because styles make fights and judging from Ruiz, from what I saw, Andy Ruiz, he's quicker. He might be fatter, but he's quick. When it, when it comes to athletics, you know, there's a big difference between quickness and endurance. So a lot of people don't know this, but shot putters, people in the Olympics who do the shot put or discus throw, they're big guys, but they have a really fast 40 meter dash. So how does that translate into boxing? Andy Ruiz might get tired, he might get tired faster, but there's bouts of seconds in there where he is the faster puncher. Very similar to, to just how these linemen and these fullbacks in football can run fast. Let me tell you a story real quick. I used to be a cameraman in Fresno, California, and I went running with Lorenzo Neal. If you don't know Lorenzo Neal, he's a Hall of Famer. I, I don't know if he's in the Hall of Fame now, but he's definitely a future Hall of Famer for football. He was a fullback. I went running with him. He weighed 230, maybe 250. Big, big monster, big guy. I'm only 185 pounds. He was so fast on the 100 meter dash. Now granted, I'm not a professional athlete, but I do a lot of athletics. I do the Ironmans right there. So for him to be that much faster than me and that much bigger than me was amazing. So check this out. While Andy Ruiz might not be the fighter with the most endurance, he might not, he might not be the, the harder puncher. He definitely very well could be the faster puncher. And so it might be stylistically a bad matchup for Anthony Joshua. Very similar to how Juan Manuel Marquez is a bad matchup for Pacquiao, right? Pacquiao, he just didn't match up very well against... Juan Manuel Marquez, and that hurt Pacquiao's legacy. So should Anthony Joshua stay away from Andy Ruiz? If he can get the fight with Deontay Wilder right now, he should do that because he probably would do much better against Deontay Wilder stylistically. We don't know this. We have to see them fight. Um, but can Anthony Joshua bounce back from this defeat he absolutely can he is two victories away if he beats Andy Ruiz and then he beats Deontay Wilder he can absolutely bounce back it really hurt him though I mean he was on the verge of becoming a mega superstar he was on the verge of becoming a world icon making its way making his name known over here across the pond from England to America. He was well on his way. He sold out Madison Square Garden. He sold out Madison Square Garden. Um, he needs to bounce back, but the problem is Ruiz and Deontay Wilder. There's a chance he might just not match up well against Andy Ruiz. Do you know what, um, what Andy Ruiz does though is he can take a hit man and Anthony Joshua was trying to trade punches with Andy Andy Ruiz Andy Ruiz so what's next for Anthony Joshua man I mean I hope he gets to bounce back I hope he gets his belt back but it's gonna be a tough road it's not gonna be an easy road he lost he lost a lot losing against Andy Ruiz all right if you haven't done so already subscribe remember I want to hit you with something that can actually change your life. Eat healthy, be healthy, sleep well, live well, because what you eat is how you feel your body and how you sleep is how you, is how you recharge your battery. You have to sleep well. All right. This is Ernest Life. This is my electric car. I'm charging it 
right now. It takes a while to charge. Love you guys. Thanks for all your support.